Hi class, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, today we're doing math pages 33 and 34. Math pages 33 and 34. Bible verse. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. And pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. And guys, that can be hard to do. People who are maybe not kind to you, but we're called to love them. And the only way we can do that is through the strength that God gives us. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the yellow box at the top of our page. And we're introducing something new here. We're figuring out how to change inches to feet, or feet to inches, or feet to yard, or inches to yards, or to the mile. And we're going to learn how to change one measurement to another. Um, I want you to look at the top, and these are things that you're going to have to start memorizing throughout the year. Uh, we've got, let's see... Got 12 inches, that equals a foot. 12 inches equals one foot. If you had 36 inches, that equals one yard. And three feet equals one yard. You're going to have to know that 1,760 yards is one mile. And that 5,280 feet is also one mile. Okay, I want everybody to stand up right now. Stand up. And I want you to stretch your arms out wide to the sides and make sure you don't hit anybody or anything near you. And you make fists. And I want you to imagine those fists being like dot. Dot and a dot, your two fists. That means divide. Kind of like a division symbol would look like, like right there. That means divide. Your two dots. So stretch your arms out and that means divide. Then I want you to bring your arms close in and make an X with your arms. Make an X like this with your arms and that means multiply. And I want you to remember this phrase. Smaller to larger. So if you did smaller, you do the X and you bring it out to larger. Smaller to larger means divide. Because if you start with an X and you go out to your fists stretched out, you go smaller to larger, it means divide. If you go larger to smaller, start with your fists out far, spread your fists out and then bring it in and make an X. Larger to smaller means to multiply. And I'm going to help explain that better as we go along here. They have an example of a problem here. We're going to look at it. Six feet. And let's say we didn't know that it was two right there. See where I'm crossing it out? Six feet equals how many yards? Well, feet to yards. We're going from smaller, a foot, to larger, to yards. So we're going from smaller to larger. That means divide. If you go from smaller to larger, that means divide. So that's why they put a division symbol there. And then you ask yourself, feet and yards, what's your special number? That's step two here. Your special number. Well, feet and yards, you think of the number three because there are three feet in one yard. And then all you're simply doing is 6 divided by 3. And that's what they've done here. We're going to do it in our problems, and hopefully it'll bring some clarity. It'll make it a little easier to understand. Look at number 1. We'll do some of these together. It says write true or false in each blank. Change measures from larger to smaller by multiplying. That is true. So go ahead and write true there. Don't just write T, write true. Okay, three feet equals one yard. Is that true or false? That is true. 
changes measures from smaller to larger by multiplying. No, if you go smaller to larger, you divide. So that is false. Twelve feet equals one yard. Well, if we go back and look, one yard equals three feet. So not twelve feet, no. That is false. And 36 inches equals 1 foot. 12 inches equals 1 foot. So not 36, that is false again. Okay, now we're getting to some problems here, and we can work on them. It says solve these simple measurement problems. We're going 3 feet, and we're figuring out how many inches there are. Some of you might be able to do it in your head, but I still want you to be able to understand these steps that you learn so that as the problems get bigger, you're prepared and ready to handle them. I want everybody to write a 1, 2, 3. Go ahead and write that down below 2A. And step 1, we're going from feet to inches. Are we going from larger to smaller, which would mean multiply? Or are we going smaller to larger, which would mean divide? We're going from a foot to an inch, that's larger to smaller. So that means multiply. Everybody put a time symbol for number one. Okay, now we're going to look at the next step. What's the special number? When you think feet and inches, how many inches go into a foot? Well, 12 inches goes into one foot. So our special number is 12. And now all we have to do is 3 times 12. We're going to go ahead and write that right here. 3 times 12. 3 times 12 gives us 36. And so 3 feet equals 36 inches. All right, let's do another one, two, three. Okay, yards to feet. Are we going larger to smaller or smaller to larger? When we're going from a yard to a foot, we're going larger to smaller, and that's going to mean, again, multiply. Two, what's the special number? How many feet are in a yard? It's going to be three. And so now we're going to do four times 3, which equals 12, and that is our answer. The next one, go ahead and do your 1, 2, 3. Yards to inches, we're going larger to smaller, so we multiply. How many inches are in a yard? It's going to be 36. And now you have to do a big problem of 3 times 36. 3 times 36. You get, when you multiply that, you get 108. It's kind of cut off the last one, but it says 12 feet. I want to do that one because we're going to have something that we haven't had yet. Step one, we're going from feet to yards. We're going from smaller to larger. So this time, feet to yards, a foot is smaller than a yard. So this time we're going to divide. What's our special numbers? Feet and yards, it's going to be 3. And now we're going to do 12 divided by 3. And our answer is 4. Um, if you'll go ahead and turn the page and look at the bottom of the page, number 7, we're doing the same things here, where we're doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll speed up a little bit on these. I think hopefully you're understanding these a little better. We're going feet to inches, so that means we're going from a foot to inches. We're going larger to smaller. That means we multiply. What number do you think of when you think of inches and feet? You think of 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot. And now all we have to do is 16 times 12. 
16 times 12 is 192. Um, go ahead and write the 16 times 12 right there. And then write your answer right here, 192. Okay, B, 24 yards equals how many feet? We're going from yards to feet, so we're going larger to smaller. We multiply. How many feet are in a yard? It's going to be 3. And now you'll do your 24 times 3. Twenty four times three is seventy two. So you can write your answer there. C fifteen feet is how many yards? We're going from feet to yards. Are we going smaller to bigger or bigger to smaller? We're going smaller to bigger, so this time we're gonna divide. What's the special number? How many feet are in a yard? Three. And you're going to do 15 divided by 3. Three goes into 15 five times, and that's your answer. It's very important for you to know that um, a rat And the camel can both hold a lot of water. See, the camel that travels through the desert, and I don't know if this is true, I think this is where it keeps its water in the hump. The camel always has the hump. Now, a rat also is known for being able to contain a lot of water. So I want to ask you guys right now, which one do you think can go longer without water? Stand up if you think it's a camel. Okay, and go ahead and sit down. Now stand up if you think a rat can go longer without water. Okay. The answer is... A rat. A rat can go longer. A rat can go longer. Maybe it's because of his little tiny cute toes. Also, an elephant in one day can consume 60 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. Hmm. Oh. That's kind of scary. You guys know what people call this? A panther. But I got to tell you something. This is really important for you to know from now. There's actually no single cat called a panther. It's really, the, the name's commonly, it's for a leopard. Or, or a puma and a jaguar sometimes. A black panther is really just a, a black leopard. So you don't have to be scared because there's no such thing as a black panther. Uh, maybe you do have to be scared because there's such thing as a black leopard. And it looks like this black leopard is looking right at us. I'll make him go away. I'll just put the cute rat toes back up. Go ahead and do the rest on your own. You guys are super smart. I know you can do it. And also to help you out, cats have no ability to be able to taste sweet things. They can't tell like that a Hershey chocolate bar is sweet. My cat likes fish and chicken though.